Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, my dad will go on. But don't forget, y'all have to subscribe, follow. I mean, share all, share all the content on all platforms. We're on Instagram, TikTok. Facebook, you name it, we're on it. But we're right now, we just started doing our Patreon. So y'all gotta, gotta, gotta follow our Patreon because that's where you're gonna see our full-length interviews after a while. Right now, we're spoiling on YouTube, but you gotta go to Patreon. Right now, we're spoiling you on YouTube, right? You <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> Say, man, we got a special guest in there today, y'all. She don't need no introduction. She been on every platform. But mine, and I got her today, so I'm not playing with y'all, man. Period. Say, man, <laughs> this young lady right here, man, anytime you talk about music, especially in Dallas, uh, she kind of was carrying the load for me when I first started this show. For like, who, who, doing the, who doing the music in Dallas? And they was like, Tay Money, that's who you need to check out, Tay Money. I said, well, I'm going to check it out, but what, where, where? I said, okay. And then I did, man, and I was very impressed, man. Tay Money is in the building, man. Big duh, the what? baddest, the cutest. <laughs> man, so. I think you you started liking her even more when you found out she's from East Texas. Man, you know, you know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna go there. You know, we gonna that no, is go too there. early <laughs> because there. you know, like I said, East Texas is real dear. You know, when you got it tatted on your chest, it's real serious. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm not playing about it. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I do know. You know, Athens is right there. Tyler is right there. Yeah. But when you go all the way, where you, I'm right by Louisiana. But I'm born by the Caddo Lake. So I'm Cattle a real Lake. country, okay. real in the woods. Like you past know what I'm Marshall, saying? going the, up all in the way in the woods. Country, past, like though, past. Bit. Get in the woods. What is that? Is that Ride like? Ride a alligator. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> There's a college there, uh, ETBU. That's Marshall. That's Marshall, but that's that's pa he's past Marshall, he's going past up it. into the woods. All the okay, way. well you still not fucking with Athens. <laughs> you are in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I am from you are, Athens. No, but you are in Dallas. Athens, you you sneeze and you're in Dallas. No, it's not that I far. Mean, it's not <laughs> that far. hour drive. It's not that far, but it is so different. Is it Dallas. an hour? It's an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get there. <laughs> I like how she said it, and ten minutes. <laughs> you can get there in an hour. No, sure. I definitely, uh, I love the fact, man, a lot of those people embrace you. I had, a, I gave a couple of calls out, and they was like, ask about these Texas. That's why they love, you know, uh, they love you. Um, not only them, Dallas embraced you. Dallas took you. And they, nobody's not trying to let go of take money. So that's a good thing to be, you know, where everybody love you, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, for me, I don't know if you've watched our show, but for me personally, I like to find out about you as a person, not mm -hmm. always the artist. I need to know where you from. Well, we know you're from Athens, but what was it like growing up in that country town? Because mm -hmm. when I listen to your interview, I'm like, you sound so country, but when you rap, you don't sound country. And that tripped mm -hmm. me out totally. I, I want to sound country. I love sounding country. Like, it's something about, like, when you t I'm talking to somebody and they looking at me and they like... Say it again. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But um, I want to be, you know, like, that's where I'm from. And I think that some people are like, hey, like, I've been, I've heard and I've seen in the comments where they be like, hey, you don't, you don't rap like you sound. It's like, yes, right. I do. You just got to take me there. Don't cross that line, though. Oh, because okay. that's when that comes out of me. It's like, you know, we all got that, uh, like, right. lots of ego inside. And... Don't play with her, please. Don't. <laughs> but um, I literally love AdSense where I came up from. And I, oh my God, I, I was supposed to, I never had my phone on loud. Somebody turn it off. Why? <laughs> Bro, it wouldn't have been like that as Britney Spears. I'm so sorry. Turn it off. Shout out to Columbus Short who come on our show okay. and said him and Britney was cool. I ain't going to go there, but yeah. <laughs> It's never my phone. I literally just was like, check the boy in the orange. And this is my <laughs> it's your phone. <laughs> um, but I literally, you know, I came up where I think some people don't understand. It is country and mm -hmm. it's hood at the same time. Okay. It, it, it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up on the countryside and then I, I like, honestly, if we being honest, I fell in love with the hood. 
Oh, okay. But, and then, then they just joined in me. So it's like a lot of dirt roads. When I see country, yes. cause when I when he take me down to the country, because I'm a city girl. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. So mm-hmm. that's totally city. So don't even, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> we just it's went not to that Jamaica. City. Oh, really? It's not Did you love city. it? I loved it. But you didn't go to Kingston, though, I bet you. No, no but they can't hang in the hood. Montego Bay. Yeah, that's most tourists go to Montego Bay, Ocho Rios, mm-hmm. Negril. But the city is totally different. We were, As we were driving, they were like, Kingston's that way, Kingston's yeah. that way. Don't play. Yeah. Stay in from Montego, Montego Bay. Bay. It's about a two hour a, drive. Yeah, stay where you're supposed to be tourists. They, they treat us bad. Shout out to the boy <laughs> no. who tried to overcharge me at the barber shop because <laughs> I speak American. You know, these cats, yeah, they, but I love Jamaica. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. So, so we will, we will. When we'll, are you going back? As soon as I get a break, come on, just go. <laughs> I, I just went. So it's like, I feel really guilty if I go on too many, like, little trips right. at a time. Like, I got to grind and grind. And after I'm working hard, I'm like, girl, you better. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. (laughs) So, because okay, so how old were you when you moved to Dallas? Uh, When I moved to Dallas, I want to say I was around 22 years old. 22. And when you were in Athens, you were raised with your mom and dad, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And tell me a lesson that you learned from your father at a young age that stuck with you during life that helped you through your growing-up ages. Um, He, I don't know if it was, like, really a lesson, uh, but he was just, like, really really funny Mm -hmm. and like I just loved it and so I wanted to be funny and I do think I'm funny um and I that I got that side of him but also one thing is like he makes you understand the value of a dollar he definitely made me understand that like we were a very comfortable family Mm -hmm. but like nothing was ours it was his that was his you know what I'm saying and we had to go get ours okay and now take money I so, got mine. <laughs> so but when people say a value of a dollar, well, the only thing I can think about, so the first time when you got your first big, big check, mm-hmm. didn't you go blow it like everybody else did? No, I was scared to death. Really? <laughs> I held on to it for a very long no. time. Yeah. Yeah, my very first, first big check. Right. Oh, okay, so uh, just, wh- I started doing hair is mm-hmm. what I started doing. Um, and I actually made really good money mm-hmm. because it was such a small town and I think that I was good at it and the clientele was, it's word of mouth. And Country towns are very supportive of each other. That's one mm-hmm. thing I know because I remember living in Terrell, Texas at one time. Mm-hmm. And I yep, know that's that, where I found. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that um, everybody know everybody. And when you have a business, they make it a point of duty to come to your business to support mm-hmm. you and they'll spread the word like it ain't nothing else. And it was, it took me about six months to build clientele. And mm-hmm. I was like very discouraged in that time. But when it came, it came. It came. It came. And I was like low key balling. Okay? Oh, okay. And then I uh, moved to Dallas and mm-hmm. I didn't have the clientele. Mm. Because Dallas, there's so many hairdressers and there's so many big places. And it's I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go work for a chain as to where I was individually booth rental. But if you were low key balling down there, like why even come to Dallas? I just think that, it, like, was I it just, the music? No, because no, she I didn't wasn't even doing, knowing that. Yeah, well, then what you it. doing up here? I just, um, and you, one, I was getting into a little bit of a trouble, but not bad. Oh, so that's why just, you left from down there. I was just hanging out with, with the wrong crowd. I wouldn't say the wrong crowd. It's just that we were, our our lives were different. You know, when you grow up together. When this is just being as honest as I can, mm-hmm. when you grow up together, it doesn't matter. But when you get older, it does matter. Like what people are doing. Like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. When we're kids and, like, in high school, it doesn't matter what someone's job is. And Mm -hmm. when we're a little bit older, it doesn't matter. But when we're grown, like, when I'm getting mine and I'm establishing a life for myself, it does matter what you do. Okay. It makes sense. And the reason why I always ask a lot of certain questions is because... Nowadays, everybody's stuck on their phones, on YouTube, watching videos, and kids, adults, everybody. And people are going through different situations and not sure how to handle it. So mm-hmm. if you can speak through these cameras to someone and educate them on how to handle a certain situation, that's the reason why I like to ask certain questions, because I really believe that God works in mysterious ways, and whoever's mm-hmm. supposed to see it will see it. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? He always brings it to you. He always is, He's always answering you without him himself. Like, mm-hmm. he sends things to me, and, like, you gotta, you've got you got to be the one listening. you right. got to hear it and take it for what it is so with that situation that you were talking about um if i'm getting it correctly some people can even look at it and be like well you switched up you know because some people feel that. feel that way although they might not know the full story to be like oh she acting like such and such you know because you're distancing yourself right. from certain people but you know that it's it's in your best interest for so long i feel like i poured into everybody else Mm -hmm. and i still do pour into a lot of people but it's time to pour into me Mm -hmm. because it's like 
I always think about other people and, and but I'm and and seeing I always just think of other people mm -hmm. and it's like, well, who's going to take care of me? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, wait, I need to stop looking for someone to take care of me and take care of me myself. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's when I realized I could be the breadwinner. I could be the go getter. Like, I, like, you know, they're always like, find you a rich man. And right, like, right. I was looking. I was looking. I was like, I need a rich man. Out here. Exactly. And I was like, and I've like heard someone be like, I am the rich man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Doesn't that feel good not I to love have to that. worry? Yeah. Like to to know you have it because you can do it. But if we're being completely honest, like I just always I, I don't know how to explain it. I just always felt special. Like almost like chosen, but I didn't know what for or I didn't know why. And like today I don't know why. But like I'm definitely I feel chosen. Like I feel special. It just radiates. And I, mm -hmm. I can see people, you know, they gravitate towards it. And mm -hmm. I love that feeling, if we're being honest. And everybody's special in their own ways. Just that people, um, as you get older, you realize what your gift is. Because mm -hmm. not everybody's blessed enough as kids to know. Some kids do know what their gift is at a young age. And they grasp it and run with it. But as they get older, you know, a lot of people realize as you get older and develop what your gift in life is. And God opened your eyes to that. And you're able to use that to help others. Let me ask you something. Let me get in here because y'all are taking over the interview. Right. I'm just really <laughs> saying, you know, it's really, really psychologically, you know, basically challenging me to get involved okay. in this conversation. You know <laughs> <laughs> so um, when did you when did you start to love the music? You know, like like. Um, you know, everybody, I hear you on here talking about Big Tuck. She actually called Big Tuck. I was asleep. She called him trying to get him up here to see you on the day you didn't show up. But I was like, <laughs> I'm glad he didn't come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I think, um, you know, the music roots, how do a little country, uh, let me see how to say this in a good way. You know, <laughs> I know. How do, how do a country girl, though, like, like, White country girl okay. uh, out of Athens, uh, Texas. Texas, say, I'm going to come down. I'm going to bang screw. Yeah. I'm going to, yeah, you just see it right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she like, yeah. yeah, like I don't know if something about that twang. It just feels good to me. It honestly came from I think this guy I was dating and it was like his music choice and like I was always riding around and listening to music with him and it was what he was playing, but for some reason it just resonated with you. Mm -hmm. It was so like I love it. Like that's my music that's my choice of music and sometimes when I'm in other states and I'm on the aux, I'm like I'm coming down. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite Big Tuck song? I mean, how and, and and how did you sing it when you thought you was by getting it in? Yeah, um, you gonna let me sing it? Yeah, right now. Okay. We just I'm gonna uh, sing it with you. This okay. is what I do. So <laughs> obviously not a stain on me. Oh, like, and, I, and I actually uh, made a song to it. Did you? Yes. Man. Hey, money, my name hold money. Hey, and then how won't come? Hey. It ain't show money. Money. Man. And, and he got this one called um, Bottom Bitch, and he's singing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's my bottom bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't really know what a bottom bitch is, to be honest. Really? <laughs> I had to get Pimba Ken on here. He can pretty much uh, help educate okay, you on that. Okay. He'd be on here a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, want, I don't know about that. You might not want to know what the bottom bitch is. I don't know, but I love the song. Somebody asked me, and they're like, you know, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> no, nah, you still, you, you could be a renegade, though. You might not even want to be in that whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but so, being a, a, a beautiful female and, and, and just coming into this whole uh, rap, you know, this whole situation, I mean, how, I know people didn't take you serious, you know, you little, you come in, look at your crew, I'm looking at your crew, how y'all kicking it, you know what I'm saying, and uh, bam, you know, it's like, dang, you pop in unexpectedly, you beautiful, but you. unexpectedly, you like, dang, what am I, what is it, gonna, is she tall, you know, I'm thinking of Iggy or somebody, you know what I'm saying, what we getting here, mm -hmm. And well, what are you getting here? You tell no, me. No, you dope, man. I mean, you you from East Texas, so you can't lose with me anyway. <laughs> I, I will argue you. with about yeah, yeah. anything to go with you. You don't even understand. You already good. I think that uh, a lot of people, sometimes I can tell when I walk on stage that they already have their mind made up. Really? They don't like it. What? 
and then when I come on stage and I, sometimes this is just sometimes I can I can see people and they're like what the fuck who the fuck yeah what the fuck who the fuck like that's how I feel I live for that almost I live for a eat this shit moment like you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah like that makes me feel good I think that's why I started music was to just rub me in people's faces for why not yeah it just feels good but and the expression changes by the time you're done yeah, it does. At least they know. Mm-hmm. They've heard it. And next time they say, oh, that's that girl. I, and I always tell them, uh, don't be telling them in a couple years. I seen her at because shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's but. hard, man. I, I mean, you like I said, you you definitely you came into this game, man. You you got assignments. You got different different things that you doing. Uh, uh, the, the numbers are scaled. How do you look at that? the first portion of Tay Money? Versus today's tape money. Like five years ago, mm-hmm. boom, now. Five years ago, I didn't think that this was possible. I wow. was doing it because I really liked it and I really enjoyed it. I still really like it and I still really enjoy it. But to know you can get paid for it makes it a little bit different. And like, you're like, I need it now. Let's go. Like, let's get in the studio. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I still was doing that, like rushing to the studio when I got off work to make music. But the difference is, so much. I wish I could have started out like I am right now. It would be. It would have been over by now. Mm-hmm. You, you know. But how did you get into the game? That's what I want to know. Um, who did you approach? Because there's a lot of young females out there trying to get into games, trying to give their um, streams to somebody, try to try to talk to anybody they can to help them get that leg up. Who helped you? Um, there, there was this guy. He actually passed away, and his name is Spencer, and he went by Uncle Skit. Mm-hmm. And I knew that he was a songwriter. Um, and I called him and I was like, hey, can you take me to a studio? Because I was like very shy. Like I would rap in my car like very good, like mm-hmm. very good. If I were to try to record it, even by myself, I, it just wasn't the same. Mm-hmm. Then I wouldn't do it in front of anybody else. But I called him and asked him to take me to the studio to help me write a song. Because I, I just felt like what I wanted to say was corny. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a lesson to tell these girls is like, don't think that what you have to say isn't cool enough. Like, you think rapper and you think boy and you think... And sometimes I find myself like, hey, I want to sound like a boy. But it's like, no, I just want to sound like me, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. I want to say what I want to say because that's what makes it cool. When I say, like, uh, about, it, like, Texas, like a sweet tea line, like, like I like that. And, and I think other people like that, too, because those are the ones they recite back to me. Right. Um, the ones that are so authentic. So mm-hmm. I think don't second guess what you want to say. Okay. Um, anyways, I called him and I asked him to take me to a studio and he did. And he helped me make a couple of songs and he eventually passed away. Um, and so RIP, but without him, I don't think that I will be sitting right here. Mm, that's awesome. Wow. So after that, then how did you get signed or how did you get um, the next step up? So basically what he was talking about earlier, he was like, when you walk in, it's unexpected. I know it's unexpected. And sometimes it's it's like not welcomed. You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, I need them to see me and hear me. So I was like, I need a videographer. And I was doing hair and I was doing the videographer's hair and he was trying to pay me. And I said, just shoot me a video. He said, a video for what? I said, I, I've been rapping. And he's like, what do you mean? I posted two videos with him. On my third video, Atlantic Records reached out mm. through a mutual friend. And then I was like, what do you mean, Atlantic Records? I'm telling my mama. She's like, please don't quit your job. Please don't quit your job. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, this could be a thing. And then that's really when shit just like was like, this could be a thing. This is a thing. So like, they flew you up and you signed with them? No, um, they didn't. They kept in contact with me for a very long time. I just kept making music. I kept making music. Before you know it... Um, Sean Cotton uh, asked me to meet with him. We met. We talked. He said he wanted to He wanted to give me 90 days to sign you. Oh, so he, he heard you on the radio and he wanted. He, I paid Say, G's, Say Cheese TV to post my video. Okay. So that's how so he So I needed them to see me. So I paid mm-hmm. Say Cheese TV to that's post That's what everybody do now. They try, but I don't know if it worked like it used to. You think it do? It, if you the one, it works. <coughs> because I was at work and I had my phone in my apron. And, and I could feel it going off. I could feel it going off. And they posted it while I was at work. And, and that night, Sean said, we need to talk. Mm. Wow. That night. You that know, night. Wow. Well, well, let me ask you. I got to go dig. You got to dig deeper than that. Got to dig deeper than that. Uh, Rain say. <laughs> Rain say what? Rain say he um he he wanted he wanted to manage. 
He did. He say, but um, I'm gonna tell yeah. you the funny he shit. Say, this say, is a story. He, listen, he no. say he <laughs> said Mo three. He said they was two gangsters. He said he messed no. up everything. No, no. I'm no, like, I what? He like they they had guns and everything in there, and she couldn't. That's not that. what it was. That's what he thinks. That's what he thinks. She don't scare me. I said, I said, I moved from Athens because I was getting in trouble. Them guns don't scare me. I'm gonna tell you, like we was two gangster man. She didn't. She was funny. Listen, I love. But he love you. Yeah, I love rain. Like if anybody say anything bad about rain about me it's problems bro like i'm stepping that's real i know that i, I already knew that. that uh so this is funny i met with rain he said i got somebody that want to interview you i was like okay i went down and he said they asked me a question uh who you think fucking with you in the df dub and i was like um you know i'm just working on me like i'm not really he said pause 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 say nobody fucking with me <laughs> and he like really wanted me to be like like right. you know what I'm saying, like real crazy. He's like, you gotta, you gotta make them come for you. Mm -hmm. And we tried it, and we tried it. I said, Ryan, this looked like a bad episode of Maury. <laughs> 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 delete this shit. So he was like, you right, you right. I, we deleted that shit. <laughs> um, he's so funny though. Yeah, he just it, like I said. I called. I said, man, what, what's up, Tay Money, man? Because he's the one gave me your manager's number and everything. Because he comes over and does interviews, and it's like. Man, I need to get her on the show. He's like, y'all, she'll come. Call him. <laughs> yeah, this kid and, Taylor, he's my manager. Yeah, he's like, call him. He gave him the number and everything, and I started linking with him. So I just appreciate you guys. But, you know, um, I'm going to talk about Dunk a little bit because, that's, that's, that, you know, you're eating chicken in front of Rudy. Shout out to Spain, man. I'm coming to get my chicken. Mm -hmm. I, I like our little seasoning. It's just so good. You it's know? so good. <laughs> So is that your number one chicken in Dallas? Yeah, yeah. ain't, no, ain't nobody in playing with. Listen, and you know what? You got a lot of people that say Rudy's ain't the best chicken, but yeah, I whatever. would like to see where, <laughs> like how, like what do you mean? Like the the chicken is so moist, the season is so good, and they sauce is so. We had a big we had a big thing with um, Cece. She came on here. She's from Chicago, mm -hmm. and they, she was like, "Harold's chicken is the best chicken ever." Well, Not. Cece, oh, we had no a big. Way. Have you no, ever had Harold's chicken? Harold. It, I'm sorry to Harold. Harold's is <laughs> not better than no Rudy's. You think so? From Chicago. Bro. So you think Harold's better? There they go. Oh, I'm not gonna do this, bro. bro. Listen, is, bro. And, and guess what? They got a Harold's here now. So go over there <laughs> and check it out. Just get both of the bags. And uh, no, you like? You I ain't even check playing. Out the new chicken. You need to go to Big Boys Chicken and Waffles in Mesquite. Hey, they go I heard hard. you mention that. I said I was gonna take Big him over there. Chicken. They go on. We gonna go over there. Look, you know, it is we be a setting woman. up one and why we gonna go next. You know? It's really big boy back there cooking, and he is the most yeah. humble, best human being. I've it's ever in a gas met. station. It is. Mm. Yeah. That's hard. I like it. And it is good as fuck. <laughs> is it good? Man? <laughs> you hungry now? It's better, it's better than Rudy's. Listen, let me tell you something. Is it better than Rudy's? I cannot answer that question right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I will tell you this. One day I I called Big Boys, mm -hmm. and it said it was open. It was on a Sunday. And I called up there, and I called up there, and he said, hello. I said, hey, I just want to make sure y'all, oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. It said close on Google Maps. Mm -hmm. I called up there just to see. He answered, and he said, no, but I'll meet you there in 40 minutes. And he met me up there and cooked me four plates. Aww. Wow, that's hard. That's hard. You know, um, you know the food in, in, in Dallas, shout out to Dallas and all the cooks and everybody. Uh, y'all can bring me a plate over here. Shout out to KLC with Master P and them. Uh, y'all probably bring me some food over here. I always get my plugs in while I'm here. Let me get a plug. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like, you got a song, this new song that you eating this chicken right here mm -hmm. in front of Rudy. What, I mean, I know what it's talking about, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I see it. The girls is, yeah, the shorts, you know. Yeah, it's going yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about it a little yes. bit. What was the process like for doing the video, you know, just putting it all together? Okay, so the director is Dance Daily, and he was the videographer that I very first started with. Okay, that's hard. We just have a bond. Like, it just works. It looks great. And um, I said, hey, I want it to be as Dallas as possible. I want it to be as Texas as possible. And I love Rudy's. I said, I want the Rudy's. I knew I met these guys at a, at the Dallas Dub Car Show. Mm -hmm. And I keep in touch with them. They call it the Swift Car Club. They have branches all over the place, but they have one in Dallas. And I called them. I said, I need a car. And they pulled up and they gave me a car and just let me use it. And they like, wow. it's so nice. Like, just to like, I'm like, how much you want for it? They're like, don't worry about it. Like, of course, like, I need to tip you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Um, 
but like it's just nice because like people see me doing my thing they be like oh oh it's a thousand you know what yeah, i'm saying i know you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. I know money, what you're saying. Take money, got money, but I need to keep my money. <laughs> well, you know. But it showed the love, though. It showed the love that they have it's for you. It's just real. Like, mm-hmm. I love real, genuine people because I'm like that. Like, I'll take a loss because I don't want to just give to you or see you. Or, mm-hmm. and, like, it feel good to give. Yeah, but that song, let's get back to that song. It do okay, feel okay, good okay, to give. Okay. And I went all the way off. I'm trying to get this meat out of here about Dunk. I want to know, you know, the music is slamming. Who mm-hmm. produced it? And, and you. Smith. Digital oh. University. All right, let's get it. Don't, yeah. Tonight <laughs> at Bottle Blonde Dallas, come by if you want to. Don't, she got a don't. Real life, no cap in this rap. She got a don't. I don't. seen it when you walked in. I ah, seen it. Period. Hey, I seen it. You know, I mean, so when you, like, like when you think about, like, these songs and the way the movement is today, um, uh, do you feel like, uh, what are we going to do this year, man? Because a lot of people lied to me last year. I was hurt. It was a lot of people sitting in that very seat and we made me some promises. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this year I'm I'm trying to break I'm trying to make man I'm listen. trying to break a record, a few of them. That's what I'm and talking I need, about. I need to I need to break out of I don't need you to say I'm a rapper. I need you to be like, take money, duh. That's it. You know what That's I'm it. saying? Because I'm gonna give you the balance that you need. My next record Hoping, pretty sure it's gonna be my country record, but it's like country oh, rap. I was wondering if you're gonna ever go. There ain't into no country. country girl rapper, and I'm here. Get out of my lane. Oh. Stay out Ooh. of my lane. When is it coming out? Well, I'm about to submit it, so it'll probably take like two to three weeks. But you know, fucking with people, add on an extra week after that. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying okay, that's just how mm-hmm. that goes. Um, but that's gonna be the next one. The video was already shot. Same director, Dance Daily. Like I'm in my bag, so I would tell you that I could promise you consistency, because. At this point, I'm digging into my own pockets to make this shit happen. I am signed to a label, and no disrespect to them, but I can't wait on nobody. So that's my promise to Dallas. Motherfucking Texas, Man. 903, Stop East playing. Texas Queen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta ask you about the uh, asthma pump with Flo Millie, my daughter. She's oh my 17. God, she loves that. And uh, that's the only thing she wanted to talk mm-hmm. about. I was like, I'm gonna do take I ain't going up there, but you can ask her about Flo Millie. Okay, period. So, you know, she fly. She yes. she had to do a school work. They don't go to school tomorrow. But anyway, um, just give me a little spill on how did you guys even link? What made you go with even doing a collab with her? You know, just mm-hmm. just give me something on that. Okay, so um, I needed a collab. You know, women empowerment is very important right now. The mm-hmm. female game is going crazy. Um, we just can't be fucked with. Mm-hmm. And I think that also at the same time, it's hard for girls to show other girls love because you always want to be the baddest. Like, mm-hmm. Why would I give her some of my shine? But it's at that point where like we only have each other. I you feel can shine like. together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, let's shine together. We'll be bright, bright, right? You know, um, Flo Millie. She was on the Up and Come, and I reached out to do a song. She reached out to do a song with me before she really popped. Mm-hmm. It was about the same time that she popped, and I just. When you pop, you're not worried about nothing else. Like, if we being honest, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying she busy because I'm very busy. Mm-hmm. You add more on to that, I can't get back to certain people, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I made sure I could get her a record that was worth getting on, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. that was going to break, that was trending, that I could show. And TikTok really carried it. We was able to get her on it and shoot the video. Female empowerment. Boom, baby. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. And I, I, like I said, uh, very impressed with it. Um, you, you, you've you done so good of a job by holding us down, I'll say. Thank you. Um, when it was empty for me in the city. Thank you. Y'all don't want to hear That's the truth. So nice. You know, I go to church in here on y'all when it was empty. <laughs> right after Mo3 passed away, to be honest with you, um, I just felt the emptiness. Uh, I'm just, the, the, I'm still... I'll be looking for hits from different dudes, the gangsters, the the ones. But like I say, Tay Money is the name that everybody loves to say when they talk about music that's Tay relevant Money. in the Dallas market. You know what I mean? They love to make lists in Dallas without Tay Money on the list. Let oh, them know. oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who the hell making a list? Who like the hell make a list? Who, you know hey, what? How you feel so every time when you see those lists, you get mad. You that's be on, because, you be, baby, that's because I'm... <laughs> Global, so I ain't even know they be making lists, but at the end of the day, I, I mean, I do know they be making them, but I don't, 
I mean, what list, girl? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't but know. I, I'm not stressing on no list, but I'm saying. I love this list well, thing, though. You, you say? You said my list? I love the oh. list. Oh, you love the YouTube, <laughs> you but damn, list? she is into her. I tell you, women is a trip, man. Hey. Y'all beautiful. And you the biggest look one is me. Y'all look good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Period. But, I was just letting you but, know because you saying, you know, take money as a name. They love to say they love Make sure it. they put it on their motherfucking list. I think you, I think, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I I I told somebody this. I was so serious. I'm like, man, you couldn't. I told Raina, I was like, you couldn't gave me no Tay money, nigga. She everything you need in an artist to blow, pop everything. I'm a blow the charts off. Pop that's the way. Rap. Right. That's right. But but I don't think I think a lot of times you know people gotta. You just gotta keep working. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, everything is God's timing. I'm not worried. Exactly. I'm not worried. I'm not in a rush because I don't want it to come and go. That's right. You want to come I and stay. I want to enjoy every moment. Now, that's very hard for me to do because you get a piece and you're like, ooh, this feel good. I need more. I need more. Impatient. But, and you're anxious. But I'm learning that the most important thing is the journey. Mm -hmm. This is going to be, this is a good ass story. I'm saving all my footage for Netflix, period. <laughs> yeah. Middle fingers. What's up with that song? Middle fingers with Lil Earl, with Lil Ronnie, it came out with uh, Huncho. Yeah, yeah. What what's up with that song? That, that was one recently done too, right? Yes, it okay. came out on my album "Girls Gone Duh." I actually stole it from them. I walked into the studio and I heard it, and I was like, "Yeah, y'all gotta come up, swap it, and I'll <laughs> give you a song." So I song swapped. That's all. I got that shit. <laughs> now that we got it, anyway, we put it on the album, and then. We had to shoot a video for it. It's just so Dallas. It just sounds so good. When you hear it in the club, it's like, fuck the whole And you be pointing all over there. <laughs> 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 I'm curious about something, because you always mention Dallas a lot um, in your songs and everything. Do you mention, do you rap Athens a lot in it's your in music? Some, it's in some of them. Like, in where are you from, bitch, Athens? Mm -hmm. um, it's in some of them. The, uh, the reason being is because when... I started music. It was in Dallas. There's only about four people that I knew that rapped in Athens, and it, there's not a music scene mm -hmm. at all. I didn't. That's why I didn't know that it was a possibility. Not country, not rap, not hip hop. Like I mean, the same thing. But you know what I'm saying? There's no genre. There's no studio in Athens. I think that's just what I'll do is I'll no, put the studio reason, in Athens. Yeah, that, you should definitely. I think I'll do that. But the reason why I said that because when I think about like small towns, I think about like Jamie Foxx and Jamie Foxx always mentioned Terrell, Texas all the time in everything he does. So uh, that's the reason why I, I definitely, ask. I definitely talk about it. I definitely say it. Um, I've heard you say it. But, but some people don't know where it is. So they'd be like, what's the next biggest town? And mm -hmm. then even though it's Tyler, I say Dallas. Okay. Just so you know where so I'm going. So you know. You know what I'm okay, saying? Because it's it. only an hour away. It's an hour and 10 minutes. And 10 minutes. And 10 Seriously. measly minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, um, I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, uh, when you look at uh, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, she came out of, Dow uh, out of Houston. Out of Houston. And, um, you know, the stuff that she just went through, man. Being a woman in in this in this whole industry and getting the respect that you deserve, you know how hard is it working in these studios and trying to figure it out? You you probably got it down pat because it's been five years, four five years, but just coming into the game, uh, how did you maneuver? Um, it's very hard because as a girl and as a beautiful girl, because mm -hmm. that's what I am. Mm -hmm. Beautiful girl, mm -hmm. but, um, like they they don't want to make music with you. Mm -hmm. And so I think that sometimes I miss out on opportunities because I feel like you get messages from people and you ignore it because it's like, you, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what they want, but I want my respect. So you're not going to play with me. I'd rather not entertain it. I'd rather be unattainable, untouchable. Um, as far as Megan Thee Stallion, I feel like everybody owes her an apology. I feel like it's a very sad story. And I feel that it goes to show that nothing you read like like nothing you see is like real you know what i'm saying like no, like they love to bring people down like when did people make hate cool when did people make negativity cool they thrive on seeing people fall like they wanted her to be wrong for so long and she wasn't mm -hmm. we all know who was mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and i've actually like been invited to parties where he may be and i will like not go like it'll be their party because like, he's always in Miami, and sometimes I'm there, and they'll be like, dude, and I'm like, I don't want to fucking go there. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, why? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just gross. And it's like, well, who's going to put their foot down and be like, this is wrong? Especially as men in the entertainment, who's going to put their foot down and check whoever? Because right. you're talking about money, like money talks. Like, okay, well, then talk because y'all got it, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Who's going to talk? Wow. How many uh-huh. labels are ran by females? I have no idea. I don't know because I feel like if there was one, we would all know which one it was. <laughs> right. That's what I'm wondering. Well, you know, it ain't our fault that y'all don't want to create a label. I'm going to go in for the men. Just do what y'all got to do. I'm not for the play with y'all. Don't get on here we will beat and try you to beat you up. I'll be going there. You're like, I'll be like, okay. Well, but. I'm, I'm going to be real, man. Like, like, yeah, I'm expecting a, a lot of big collabs and everything. Like, who would you like to work with if you could pick anybody in this world? Anybody? Just, anybody. Just one? Just one. Anybody. Oh, I'm for Bad Bunny. Let's go. Bad Bunny. <laughs> she so, dope. Uh, yes. And then. Um, Ain't nobody say two? But go ahead. No, <laughs> yeah. no, period. I want a song and a video with YG. That's all. That's, that's that would, hard. That, that would be hard. Because this one time, I don't know what I was watching. It was some some award show or something, and there were performances going, and he was one of them, and it was the best performance out of all of them. Really, like, he was just good. Like he was good. He was it. cool. He was going in. Yeah, and that's what and that's what you really want. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, you like I said, you you basically do your thing, man. Like I'm gonna be definitely uh come. I gotta come watch you perform though. You know, I seen it on the video. I want to see it for real. I want to see if you really get out. You gotta go to Tay Day. Being, being, yeah, you do got a Tay Day. I heard him talking about it. When is How it? you just gonna April? get a day, a gonna day like that? Birthday. How do y'all pull that's my birthday. Yeah, that's for your birthday. Yeah, oh, that's you, I, mean, uh, I knew it was your birthday. She ain't none of that. No, no. no. <laughs> that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that all that birthday, uh-uh, she July. Let's just keep it on okay, moving. So, so is he. Leo? And so am yeah. I. You know what I'm saying? You're my best friend, Leo. <laughs> yeah, I'm your best friend now. Okay. Now, we by two or three days apart. Three days apart. Yeah, and and we'll be in Jamaica. Lord say the same. Oh, well, I'm going with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but now you, you like I said, I, I'm not going to play with you because I, I'm really expecting big things, and I feel like your career really. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I don't know what that deal looked like up front. I don't know what because people get bad deals. I'm not going to play with you. I, I know already. Sometimes people get bad deals. Nelly say he lost seventy five thousand dollars, million dollars. I what? think he was lying. Nelly. Nelly. Yeah, Nelly. He said, so, like, coming into the game, like, you lose money. A lot of times you can't even scope the money because you're learning. Like, how was it for you? You know, you. this is how you feel. When someone presents you with a deal, you're like, I don't have nothing. I want whatever you're going to give right. me. At the same time, you like, if I pass on this, will one ever come again? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know. But you will know if it's the right moment for you. You will know. Because it either feels good or it feels scary. Wow. And I do feel that, you know, I've heard of some stories where people have signed for very little money. And I'm literally like, what the fuck? Why? No, no, I've seen it. Why? It's very it's sad. Hurt. It's very yeah. sad. But you got to, I don't know what to do. I, I mean, I don't know what to tell them. I don't know what to I've seen them. it. So you've never been through a bad deal before? I, I okay. Let's I'm be, be real. I'm going to be, don't, very, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I think that the whole music industry is fucked up. Mm-hmm. But there's but my deal is the best fucked up you're going to get. Okay. You get what I'm I saying? I got you. But but I don't say that to be rude. Like, I'm very happy with where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm an upstreaming artist, so I have joined, uh, um, you know, Interscope. Mm-hmm. That's my major. And um, I would like, you know, more money. Like, let's go keep going. Like, but I have options to exercise, and there's room for me to grow. I did not take a bad deal. Okay. And That's good. I met with a lot of people. I met with a lot of people, and I did not like how any of them felt until I met with the very last people. And I said, there's only one thing left to do. Mm-hmm. You have to fly to Texas and see my mama. Mm. And the next day, we were on a plane. My mama, we was out to eat. Get da, 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 da. Hey. <laughs> so you're still signed with Sean Cotton as well, too? No, no, I'm, I'm not Sean to... Uh, no, I'm not signed to Sean Cotton. Okay, because I remember when you, when you go back to what you were saying on. earlier early on, early on yeah, you said that. you talking about let's get into it. Let's so get you into didn't it. sign with him that time? What we did was... He said, I have 90 days to right. sign you. And he took me and we flew to New York one day. I woke up at 630 and I flew to New York and I met with like six labels. And by that time, that night, because I was very dedicated to my job, I was back in my bed. I didn't stay the night in New York. And the mm-hmm. next day I had work. And I met with all those people and I was so sad when I came back because I thought I was going to walk into a room and someone was going to say, I love you. I got to have you. Here's a million fucking dollars. That's what mm-hmm. I thought I was going to walk into. That's how it just felt for me. Mm-hmm. That's how it still feels for me. 
And I walked in there, and they didn't care if I was in that room or not. Mm-hmm. None wow. of them did. One of them did put a paperwork in front of me, and it was very fugazi. Like, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. my mom said, there's only one thing you can't do. You can't sign nothing when right. you go. I say, okay. I came back. My mom's like, how is it? Tell me everything. I'm like, eh, it's okay. And then Sean calls me the next day. I'm at work. We're going to Miami this weekend. Okay. I was like, oh, nah, nah. But he's like, we're going. We went. I met the people. I absolutely loved them. Wow. I absolutely loved them. I asked them to meet my mother. They came and they met her. They they treat us wonderful to this day. That's all right. <clears throat> so, T. Jones, the other night, I woke up and I seen some horns floating toward a section with a big sign. Mm-hmm. Was this a real thing? You know, like, like did, did somebody send you some horns? Was yeah, it T. Jones? What the hell's going on? What? 903 in this big. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. Like, like, so, so does, yeah, and you was born in Tyler, so it kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yes, uh, I was born in Tyler <laughs> and um, I, I wasn't expecting it. He sent it. And then he came over and he talked to me and he was like, I want to give you your flowers. Like, I want to show you some love. Like, I know how hard it is out here. Wow. And like, it was just very respectful because I can tell you, I've been, I rap, I've been rapping for five years and nobody's done that yet. Really? Yeah. Well, he's a good dude. We yeah, went, he is. Yeah, he's been on here. We went and actually checked him out. I be giving him hell. I give everybody hell. So when I call you, it's a different <laughs> world when I call. I call, it's like, What? That boy crazy. You know how I do him. <laughs> mm-hmm. But at any rate, uh, just love the fact that you guys are figuring it out. You know, the connections are very serious. Like mm-hmm. the unity is real. Mm-hmm. So you gotta we gotta we gotta unify. You and know what I'm he, he mentioned working together and I said, This is all you needed to do, send me the song. That's as simple as it is. That's hard. Yes, because the love is there. Like like that's what I'm saying. If more people will be like that, you could get farther in life. Man. You look out for me, I'm gonna look out for you. Man. That's how it's supposed to be. I get it. So, I mean, you know, um, I don't know how far this goes back, but I, 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 I went back and researched you. Cole Bennett. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah, no, no. I be, I'm okay. working over here. Okay. I'm a real don't interview guru. Okay, okay. You know, everybody know I'm the best. They don't know it, but they're going to feel me today. Yeah. <laughs> like, so give me the spiel on just, uh, you know, is it long lasting or what's going on over there? Long lasting. Yeah, like you. What's up with Cole? Oh well, we don't. Uh, yeah, y'all broke up, right? Yeah. Damn, you what happened? Okay. Damn. I was about to say. <laughs> I know how to get. <laughs> you do it. Unless she wants him oh, back. I guess y'all want some clickbait. Yeah. Okay. I had, I, had to, I had to get that in because I was like, you know what? I don't know if they broke up or not because I'm not in her business, but I'm sure gonna ask if she come on boss talk. You know, sometimes I broke up with a girl this before you twenty years before. <laughs> Listen, let me go back. And, uh, yeah, I end up, you know... Uh, Going back? Yeah, every now and then. You know, you don't just... Right. <laughs> it's hard to get over people, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you, like... Love is serious. We, <laughs> uh, it was a long-distance relationship, and you know how hard those are? No, I don't. work in the way how you do. Oh, you don't know. No, when you love somebody, oh. love is love just breaks through I, all I of that. I get that, I get that. But okay. when you are as busy and, as and you know, it, it, it breaks through, okay? <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. Um, no, you know we. I get it. We are, we don't have any bad blood at all. You still friends? We are very friends, mm-hmm. but like we don't talk. Oh, That's okay. what I was gonna say. Don't give me that friend. Free, see, communication is the no, key. I've seen him. And he was very gentleman. You know what That's I'm saying? Awesome. He was very much a gentleman. Um, I didn't want to see him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's just that's just me being real. You talking about yeah. transparent, baby. Mm-hmm. That's hard. Right? I like it. So who's the new boo in That's life? what I was about to say. Okay. You single? Yes. Uh, How'd you say that? <laughs> she lying, Steph. You think she lying? No, yeah. that's because. She ain't single, is she? Are y'all making <laughs> y'all making me nervous. <laughs> shut it down. I am single. You need to stay up out of my love life, sir. Look here, man. I mean, the people want to know. Okay, no, because <laughs> one thing I've always said, you know, you're doing the right thing. Because I'll, I say, being a celebrity... <laughs> You want to keep your your private life private because yes. social media, the media, everybody, it's not nice. It's not. Like I, I love, said, they love to see, to bring people down. Well, right. And I they love, love to, to lift people up too. Wait, public, you are a public figure and people are going to ask you about your relationship. They're going to love on you. They're going to take you. You are ours. You came out here. <laughs> you signed up for it. I signed it, literally. <laughs> So and that's the funny thing. Because, here, so. Yeah, but you know that's the funny thing that um, 
people don't understand. A lot of people look at being a celebrity and like, oh, I want to be that person. I want to be that person. Not realizing all the things that comes with that. Yes, you have the light, you have the money, you have all of that, but it, your privacy goes. That is the worst part. You know what I it mean? It is. It is. Um, I don't want to share much of it anything with them mm -hmm. like i'm be honest with you like i learned my lesson on sharing because i feel like the more you share you know because but in no matter what you do though you're gonna have those people no matter what you say you're gonna have those people the trolls who are gonna always you could say something innocently and they go take mm -hmm. that and turn it and twist it into something totally different of so no course. matter what you're not gonna get away from that of course I know. regardless you just I, I just think my skin has grown thicker it has um, to and, be. And I'm very careful. I mean, I used to post every every move, mm -hmm. and every move that I made, and I'm very selective. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive, any genre. That's hard. Big Tuck. Okay, that's your number one. <laughs> number two. Um, Nicki Minaj. Okay, number three. And um, people I listen to are like the artists as themselves. Anybody. Of all time, is any artist of all time dead or alive? Any genre, so it's not doesn't have to be rap. I like Elvis. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I was mixed on that because some people don't like Elvis, but I fucking love Elvis. No, no. So. Did you watch his last movie? I Elvis? did, and it's fucking good. <laughs> it's fucking good. It showed things that I've never seen before in any other Elvis movie, and I loved it for that main fact. Wow. Um, thank you for coming on the show. Damn, bye. Yeah, okay. No, 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 wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay. We love you. I, I got to say it. that. Okay. because and, and make sure you keep God first no matter what. I don't Always. care what you're doing. I don't care where you're going. And if you make sure you stay tapped in the boss talk. If you can call me, I pull up. I will fly up. I'm that guy. At I will Texas come see film. you. And I will be aggressively making sure you're good. Thank you. Um, but you, you just got to remember me. You know? Of course. I had a question. Because something I'd heard. Um, I don't know. I don't remember where I heard this from. And something about you being signed to World Star. No. Okay, that's why you just put that to rest. She said that like no. Yeah, I just no. wanted you to put that to rest. Damn. No. Because no. that's something I heard, and I was if like, I, I don't World think Star, so. I think they would be posting my videos. Exactly. Because exactly. they post mine. No, they post yours. Mm -hmm. Well, tell them call me if they want to add on. <laughs> Say, man, let me get out of here, man. I got to get this young lady out of here, man. Thank you for coming on Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.